The purpose of this video is to show you how to transfer files between your machine and a server that you connect to. You will need to know, of course, your login name, the name of the server, and your password so you can authenticate into your account. Now, a solution that I've found that's very simple and very straightforward to use is FileZilla. So what you should do is go to FileZilla-project.org. <clears throat> you'll see this page. And what you'll do is download the client. Get the client, because that's what you need to transfer files from your account to a server. So you download the client and install it. Now I'm going to go ahead and click this session away. And I have gone ahead into my applications and filed up, fired up FileZilla. And here it is. Right now I have a blank FileZilla page. So where it says host, you put in the name of your host. Where it says username, put in your username. I'm fake22z. Oh, let me get rid of that extra A there. And then my password, I'm going to enter my password. And then finally, under port, I'm going to put port 22. That gives you secure file transfer protocol. Once you do that, you just hit the quick connect button and wait. <clears throat> the first time you log in, it's going to give you a little security window like this. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And wham. <clears throat> so what do I have here on my left hand side? This is my home machine. On, my, on the right hand side, this is my account. So say I want to go ahead and transfer a file. And you know, yes, on the Mac, security is a little crazy. Allow it. Okay. All right. And I have a file called index.php, and I want to put it somewhere in here. If I want to put it in my home directory, I just drag it across. If I want to put it in a folder, I'm going to put it in this folder submitted. I just open that folder by double clicking on it. <coughs> Drag it across and you will see that it has been successfully transferred. If I want to move a file back, you'll notice this little double dot here. That's open the parent directory. And here, I'm going to get OZZ.txt and I'm going to send it back to my machine. And that's it. So this is a drag and drop interface. The folder icons, you double click on them to open them. Or you click on the little arrow and it opens. And then you can click on the little arrow and you can and then and then you can close it. You can you can hide its contents. The interface is totally drag and drop and very, very, very simple. That's why I recommend this as a solution.